G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Aussie Garage. Today's episode is proudly sponsored by Optics Nanotechnologies by AutoFX WA. Optics is a 100% Australian owned and operated company and they can supply you with all your ceramic coating and car care needs. Optics is uh, West Australian based, however they will ship Australia wide and also overseas. Also if you jump online, any purchase over $10, make sure you use the code ozg free gift and you'll get a free gift from Optics. So whether you're like us and you've got muscle cars or you've got a street machine or you've got a daily drive or you've got a sports car, Optics have got you covered. They're gonna keep you looking nice and shiny so everyone will notice you out on the road. And once again, big thanks for Optics Nanotechnologies by Auto FX for sponsoring our Aussie Garage. So let's get stuck into this week's episode. Awesome, let's do it. Well, right, g'day everyone. It's uh, Dan and Phil here for Aussie Garage. On this episode, we are out talking to Yarni. He's got a mad car collection out here that we're going to have a look through, and yep. a very interesting XYU. Definitely, and well, you know what? He's a fellow YouTuber as well, so it's awesome. So go check out his channel as well once yep. you've had a look at this. All right, well, let's go get started, and we'll go and have a look at this BA. Let's I mean XY. I mean BA. I mean, hang on. I don't know what. I don't it know is. what I mean. We'll have to work it out. No, yep. let's, let's just go. Have a look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's Phil here from Aussie Garage. I'm here with Yanni. Yanni, <laughs> let's talk about this beautiful ride of yours, mate, to start with. We've got a lot more in your collection, but let's start here. Yeah, no worries. What would you like to know? Well, how did you come across this to start with? All right, I had a um, uh, 2003 BAXR8 yep. um, and I had a XY, well, I had five of them actually, uh, shell. Yep. So this XY shell had uh, no floor pans, no firewall, no front end on it. Yep. Um, and I wanted to see if I could, you know, put the XY shell over the BA. So I ended up with a, um, a BA XR8 ute, um, which I unbolted the guards, the doors, and modified, bolted these guards on. You'll see how later. Yep. Um, the tub, I extended the tub 220 mil to pick up the wheels. XY. So theoretically, it's, an, it's a BA XR, XR8 yep. with XY shell over the top. Well, it definitely looks like an XY when you're looking at the front end. Yeah. And it's only until you come up near the windscreen area, you go, hang on a minute, that doesn't yeah. look right. Kind of well, with the um, with the roof here. Yep. It's the so it's still, I wanted to keep the windscreen for the wipers and for you know your vents and everything inside yep. Yep. here. So this is all BA. The windscreen's BA. The roof part here's BA. That's XY on the back. Yep. Um, and again here you've got this pillar here. Uh, so this is all BA. And then here X Y and I just played it between them. Yep, <clears throat> it's what I had to do because you couldn't put the X Y shell up right up because then you're too close to the steering wheel. And yes, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's what you had to do. But yeah, it's... no, awesome. So let's take a step back. So how did you come up with this concept in the first place? Um, I don't know how my brain works sometimes. You know, it's, yeah, uh, yep. I guess I had the car sitting there, had the X Y sitting up the back there. I had the B A. I tried to sell the BA, no one, you know, no one wanted to buy it, so I thought, well, if no one's going to buy it, I'll do something with it, you know? So yeah, perfect. That's what I did. I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I do crazy stuff sometimes. Hey, well, I think you've done a brilliant job because at the end of the day, like, it is, it, for people that don't, don't know what they're looking at, yeah, yeah. they're probably going to go, that's an XY, but that doesn't seem like an XY. Yeah, but, yeah well, I tried, like I say, same as... Uh, you know, they usually have the grill going across here, which I couldn't do because of the wipers. Yep. Uh, and also, you still need to be, if you break a window, you still need to be able to get the windscreen yes. in and out. So, um, yeah, I've made my own little, I don't know, panels there to, yep. to infill where it was big gaps and um, the shaker. The shaker doesn't do anything, it's just bolted to the top of the motor. Just to, yep. It's an X, if I want to make it look like an XY, it's got to have a shaker on it, doesn't it? You know yeah, what I mean? that's so, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the colour's Rothman's Blue, which I really like this colour. It's a good car to drive, air conditioning, power steering. It's well, it would just, be. It's got all the modern features in it on an old bloody car. So it's like... I, I, like I say, I just, I'm always building something. Anybody that knows me knows I'm always building something. You know, yeah. I'm doing something, modifying something. It's just, yeah, the amount of cars I've done over the years, it's, it's, I get bored. I, I just got to keep busy, you know? Yeah, I keep saying Perfect. after I do every car, though, that's my last one, not doing any more. And you'll see I've got the XY in there on the rotisserie, another XY on the rotisserie in the, sh yep. in the shed there to go and, and then eventually on the bump side and all the other cars. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I like doing things. I like to do something different. I like to be different than everyone else. You know? Well, that's it. And so. this is different and it's perfectly well done. Yeah. So from start to finish on this project, yep. 
how long did it take you to get it from woe to okay. go? I started in, I think it was June last year. Yep. And I was finished by Christmas. Um, I think it took me five months. Well, I'll say five months. I work away, so two months, two weeks I'm away, two weeks I'm home each month. So, yep. you know, it probably took me two months to okay. start, to yep, start yep. to finish to do it the whole lot. So, wow, uh, that, that's really good considering like for a, a restoration project or a project like this, like people take like up to 10, 15 years. I get a bug in me in, in my system and like I say, once I start something, yeah, I'm on it. Like I was home, like for the two weeks I'm home, I'm in that shed, you know, from dusk up till, till yeah. night time, you know, I'm... I'm there working on whatever car I've got me mind on doing, you know. Yeah, so, uh, that's where I find me um, happy place, I suppose. Well, <laughs> that's, that's it. Place. If you got to do it, you got to do it. So yeah. And I like to see the I like to because in my head I know what I want to do. I can see it, and I just like to see, you know, something that looks like this, and then at the end it looks like that. I, I like to see, the, you know, the transformation. I guess you could say. Like I say, I'm no panel beater. I'm no spray painter. I'm just somebody that wants to give it a go. I can't afford to pay people to do it. Yep. I like to do it. I like to try and do it. You know. Well, this so. is what we are all about. We're yeah. all about people that are doing it on their own in the backyard and building their project from yeah. scratch. And this is a perfect representation of that. Yeah, I enjoy it. I just love it. You know. So. Yeah. Like I said at the start, I had the original. I, when I started doing it, I had the BA bonnet on here still bolted up. Yep. Um, because of the bulge for the motor for the 260. Yep. And these guards here, I cut these guards out all the way out to here. They were cut out because the BA bonnet came right across. And then I realised um, I just got the old bonnet, the XY bonnet, and I got the hinges, and yeah, the way I did it, bolted it on, and I modified it out to weld all these back in. It's, it's all trial and error, you know? But, so, um, like, it, like, you've got the gaps are perfect on it. Like, it's all streamlined. It's just a, it's just beautiful. Like, yeah, you couldn't ask for anything more, mate. Enjoying driving it until someone takes it off my hand. If they want it, they can have it, but you know. It's, uh, so what was the hardest part about doing this? Uh, the hardest part, um, I don't know, probably getting this front to all line up. Like I say, because, you know, I, yeah, I only had that corner of the XY on each side. Yep. And I had nothing in between here. So it was like, um, I guess, once you had that part done, then getting the guard on, making brackets to hold it, pin it in place while I was working things out and working out. Yeah, I could have went out and brought a whole new radiator support panel, which is what I should have done, and sat it on there. But because I wasn't sure if it was going to work at the time, yeah, yeah, I just used the bits that come with the car. You know, like I say, they had, that little bit there was cut off. Yep. It was from there to here, and I, you know, um, so rather than spend a heap of money, which you don't have, on seeing if it's going to, because I didn't know, like I say, I didn't know if it was going to work. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about. Let's go from front to back on the outside of the car. Okay. What size wheels you got on there at the moment? Uh, they're twenties. Yeah, these were on it when I, you know, with the BA and yep. I like the wheels. Uh, hence why I went with the gold stripe. Nice. I sort of built the car around the wheels. Yep. So perfect. I, I thought, well, they're already there. Why buy new wheels? You know. Yeah. Well, that's just um, it, and they suit it down to a T. I think they look good. I like them. You know. Yeah. In this yeah. Car. So. And you've already talked about the paint colour of the car. Yeah. Um, so, um, we, we, you use the offset, you used a matte or a gloss? Uh, this is straight off the gun. This is direct gloss. Okay. Yep. Yeah, two pack direct gloss, this one. So. Yeah, yeah. And with the, is that the decals, are they yeah. stickers or are they painted on? No, that's a sticker. Okay. Uh, Dave, I think his name is, the sticker man. He goes around and stickers everyone's car and stuff. Yep, perfect. Because so he, he had to make these extra long. Excellent. Uh, and put, I got him to put Boss 260 in it instead yep. of the GT351. Yep. Um, and the quarter ones, obviously, are longer as well. The doors are the only original size stickers. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah, no, they're, um, they're stickers, all stickers. Perfect. I, I did mask it up. I was ready to paint it, put the paint, you know, paint on black, and then I peeled it off. I said, no, nah, he's coming to do them. I rang him up and said, can you do them as well, you know? And the good thing about it is, if you don't like it, take it off. Absolutely. Start again and do it however yeah. you want to. Yeah, no, I like so, it. It looks yeah. good. I'm happy I with reckon it. it looks perfect the way it yeah. is. So, okay, so you've done all this. You've like We can see the difference between the front guards. Then yep. you've got the pillar coming back through here. Yes. You've got an XY door. Yes. And you can see that this is the like the X. It looks like the XY R sand it on it as it well. Is. I just put the original, because with the BAXR8, that's where the fuel is. Yep. So um, I just cut the out of the original uh, BA Ute tray, yep. and I welded it into the XY. So, yeah. But it, yeah, and I extended the tray 220 mil. Yep. And that was only to 
line up the wheel arch with the center of the wheel. So, you know, and the same as the front yep. here. Um, this is extended here to here. Yep. It's extended just, and you know, it's all to do with the length and yeah, because I yeah. think the uh, BAs were uh, longer. It's a longer than the XY, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, I yeah. mean, a lot of extra cutting and putting this stuff in here, but like you wouldn't even know that you've even done any yeah. of this at all. Um, so sensational. It's just this, this gives it away, but there's no other way around it. You have to, like I say, because I wanted to keep the BA windscreen for you know the yeah. nice modern wipers and. Yeah, if it's pouring rain, I can I can see where I'm going. Well, if you didn't do it this way, it would have been a very cosy inside. Too cosy, yeah. Let's talk about the interior a bit more. Yeah. So, what did you have to do with this one in here? Okay. Well, as far as the interior, the only thing I did, if I can open the door, yeah, absolutely. With this one, um, the original BA seals are underneath. Yep. And I had to make these the X because they had no seals in there at all. Okay. So I just all I did is made the XY seal from there to there. Yep. And bolted it down to I welded it down to the to the BA. Yep. Uh, that's all I had to do with the inside actually. Everything else is is still BA. So Yeah, and it, you, you wouldn't like if you walked if you was closed your eyes and just sat in there, you didn't think it was just a BA. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's sensational. Yeah, it's like I say, it's a nice drive and you look out the bonnet and you can see the shake you know, you can see it looks like an XY but um, you know, and you got the old door kind of clothes feel to yeah. it. But yeah, he's got that sound, the old, yeah. It's, um, yeah, like I say, it's, uh, and I had to run the seals all the way along. Yep. Because the BA finish here. Okay, uh, yeah. BA finish right there. Yep. And then I had to extend that up just to, you know, just to fill it in, make it look a bit different. So make it look like it should. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, look, there's going to be haters out there, and there's, but I haven't met any yet. I've, everyone's loved it so far that I've seen the car and they've spun out like, you know, well, this is a perfect example of a custom build. Yeah. Uh, and people want to do this stuff, don't have the skill level to do this stuff. And you know what? If they hate it, there's, there's something wrong with them. Yeah, uh, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, because I know there's purists out there for all sorts of shapes and models. Yeah. If it was a good shell, good XY shell that um, could be restored, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. So it, was, it wasn't a lot to start with anyway, you know what I mean? So yeah. I went down and seen Tony at Subaru and brought guards off him and brought doors and you know but after i set the thing on there and yeah yeah the boys at super real are awesome oh, they're just absolutely. always helpful you know whatever whatever you need for your car yep they've got it and if they don't have it they can tell you where to go to get yeah, it they've been really good to me yeah you know. that's it nah this is perfect mate okay well let's um have a look at the back end yep and we'll go from there okay no worries <laughs> all right yanni explain the back end here because you can definitely see there's a combination here. Okay, yep, I'll come around here for a sec. Yep. So, obviously XY, XY. The only thing yep. it's not is down the bottom here. Yes. Um, an XY usually only comes to about here. Yes. And then they go right in, they come across, they have the uh, drop down for the spare tyre in there. Yep. Probably the same as your panel van. And obviously it was nothing there, it had nothing there, so I just sort of made my own. So. Yeah. Nah, it just looks slam seamless. Yeah, it, like I say, I'm not a big fan of, I like the little bumpers, but because of what this car is and what I was going for, I, I just wanted yeah, something a bit different going across the back there. So. Yeah, well, I think it would have looked a bit odd if you had to use the bumperettes on these. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, if you had to put a bumper on the back end to yep. do it, 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 you probably would have been a full length one. Yeah. So I think this is exactly how it should be. Yeah. Um, I just moved off the back to tailgate, just moved it out and just... Uh, yeah, it's yeah. That's what I've done at the back. So. Yeah, you've got the bloody X Y lights. Obviously, yeah. twin system coming out the back here. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and see the exhaust joint and get the exhaust coming out each side like an X Y should have. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Same system. So, and the tail lights, um, they're X Y, but on the back, I've cut the back of the housing out. Yep. And with the B A, I I cut the plastic out of the BA tail lights, and I've grafted them to the XY. Okay, yeah. So now, so you just they're BA, everything's BA. Yeah. So, so you, you just, just screw the BA light bulb perfect. in there. Perfect. It's a lot brighter than the old XY with the little Y. You got to push on it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's BA is what, well, like I say, XY, but internals all BA as well. So. All right, Yanni. Well, look, had a look at all this. 
let's look under the hood. Okay, no worries. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> it's a Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> it's off a Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this, this is perfect. You can definitely see where this is and yeah. where that is. Yeah, so that's how I've had the door. You can see that's wow. the original, the BA. So, yep. And again, the, I don't know, it's lifted right up. We'll run across there and there with a uh, flat bar. Yep. And um, yeah, there'd be little bits that I had for the XY, which I had to join, you know. Yep. Uh, to get the, to get it all set up. Yeah. Get it level and all the rest of the stuff that you need to do. This is nice. You know, there's not a lot of great deal of room to work in here. <laughs> but hey, I'm not a mechanic. You with these cars? I'm not a mechanic, so I don't have to touch it. Yeah, 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 fair <laughs> enough. But, I mean, these big boss motors were bloody huge anyway, weren't yeah. they? So, and, you know, they've got so much power behind them, and you can do so much with yep. them these days. Yeah, this goes really well. Yeah. Yeah, really well. You know, it's, um, it's yeah. all, like I say, to me, it's easier to do the body work than to, to change that out, you know, put that into an XY, so to speak, you know? Yeah, yeah. For me, if you give me the option, give me that motor, say, drop that into an XY, or say, he's a BA, make it look like an XY, I'm gonna make the car look like an XY rather than drop that engine in. Yeah, just... that's it. So, I mean, the fact that you, okay, it's got a focus shaker on it, which is yep. fine, which is, you know, what a lot of the old cars used to have put on there anyway. Yeah. And it's perfect. Um, has he done any work to the engine at all, or is it just I haven't, standard? This is the way I got the car. All I've done, like I say, put the shaker on top, make it look like an XY, yep. because it's already got the um, enhanced induction here. Yep. Put on for the so whether there's any internal stuff done, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Yep. It's the way I brought the car, and um, yeah, it's just yeah, the engine. I think I, I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's stock, but I'm not sure. You know, you can definitely see that this is just standard BA under here. Yeah, that's all it is. It's all stock. Yep. Well, you know, as far as I know. So funny, like I had to get the aircon regassed and redone the other day. I booked it in, so I got to drop it. In. It's a BAXR8 Ute, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the front. They're looking out the window. They're saying, "Where's the car?" You know. I said, "There. It's not a BA." I said, "Trust me, it's a BA." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it looks like an XY, but it's not. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would confuse a lot of people. Yeah. 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 All right, Yanni. Well, we've talked about all this. Yep. Talked about the engine. Talked about this car in general. This thing is, like I said, it's off the chain, and it's perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. I wish I had something like this myself. Um, I reckon let's move on to the next one in your collection. No worries. Thank you very much. Not a drama. Hope you can see neutral.